Hey, what's up, guys? I'm going to try to do my best with uh, for how to use Forescan here. I have a 2018 Ford uh, Taurus Police Interceptor, 3.7 liter. Um, the Forescan um, adapter is right here. It goes to my laptop. Just connects right in. So if you've never used this before, first got to buy that cable off of Amazon. I'll, leave, I'll put a link in the description. Um pretty cheap it's like 49.99 or something like that and then you have to download foreskin onto your uh laptop preferably i don't know i i use windows so like you know it's just you know products i think is yeah and then foreskin for windows you just download that uh get it on your computer and then after you've done it you get this you have to register your account on the forms or whatever then you get get free extended license. You get two months of it. Pretty easy. Then you have um, yeah. And here's the OBD2. I mean, you can buy the. I, I like the one for the computer. I think they make a Bluetooth one too or something like that. I like the direct line, but uh, less time. You know, so it doesn't disconnect or whatever. So yeah, you just do that. You uh, get the license or whatever, and then once you. Uh, you do that, you click on the Forescan. This is the program here. You go down to the information thing or whatever, and then you just have to like upload the extended key, which is pretty simple. But uh, anyways, let's just get this started here. So give me a second. Uh, I'm gonna get it logged in here. So you click this little, this button right here to connect to the vehicle. Then you click yes. And then it'll do a diagnostic thing. Choose your car. Um, just like that. So now I got all the modules up and everything. So you can read your codes. You can do a few other things. But here's where you want to go. This this one will, will right here. So for if you just want to do like keyless entry, you just go to uh, this guy right here. Click on that. Then you click this little play button. Then it'll read all these blocks. Okay, and then so like you got so many things you can do here, like bulb outages and um, stuff like that. So like this dark car right here. This I disabled because like that's, it makes it so like the lights don't turn on when you open the doors. I enabled daytime running lamps. Uh, I can put, I'm going to, like, here, I'll enable this. Daytime running lights includes park lamps. Sure, why not? So then I just go enabled. Done. Then I'll show you what to do after that. And then daytime running lights type, you can go, you know, front fog, if you have fro fogs, front turn lamps, you know, it's like, I just said low beams. You can change your PSI. Um, if you install fog lamps, you can enable them. Uh... You can enable the lock feeds, um, number of tires monitored by the, you know, it's, there. you can do a lot of stuff in here. Um, let's see here, where, okay, there it is. So, when you first open this, it'll say, this is, remote keyless entry will be disabled. You just have to enable it, enable, I enabled remote start too. Uh, you need a hood pin, or you can just splice the wires together, just <laughs> don't, don't be, you know, I didn't recommend that way but that's what i mean that's what i did but uh you just it's right on the front uh on the right side when you open the hood up or whatever you just install a hood pin there's a plug it's really easy and then it'll start right up so there's those two right there um that's the first things i enabled uh you can unlock feedback lights you can change your tire sizes and then once you're all done enabling and everything you gotta be careful in this program because you don't want to do things that'll like really mess it up so then you just click right and you click this bad boy right here and then it'll do it something will go off in here know that it's done turn the key off turn it back on and then you click ok that resets everything so that's the body module so once you're done with the body module you can just press the square to cancel that and then you go back up here to configuration <laughs> okay now you can look at here let's look at this ipc one you know like i'll just show you stuff that like you, you can disable abs if you want uh you know like 
you can um, go down here. You can wonder what I do on these ones. I wonder. Oil change reminder I disable because I know when to change my oil. Um, you can enable a rear camera. You could install one probably to this uh, 4.2 gauge uh, and from your back. Uh, the Ford logo, you could probably run it up to there and enable it on here. Um, on this one, it'll say remote start. If you have the remote start enabled on the body, it will not work if you enable it on this remote start. So keep that one disabled. But I enabled like the climate settings so that like, you know, in the winter I have my heat on, I defrost, you know, or in the summer I have my AC on. So, yeah, we got that. Okay, and then we'll exit out of this one. That's about all I think I changed on that one. So don't worry about that. We'll go here. Now let's go up to, oh, start with this one, I think. I can't remember what this one was. Okay, yep. This one has 10 minute clock after ignition is off. I don't know what that is. So the dark car, you can I disabled it on here too, just because I don't, you know, whatever. If you ever get some heated seats out of a show or whatever, you can enable them. Um, rear climate control is disabled because I don't have that. Tow capacities. This one, you know, it really doesn't have a lot of things here to change. So we'll just exit out of that bad boy, go back to here. Um, then the ACM, this is the last one I'll show you here. Uh, I can't remember if there's, that's just maximum radio, mute radio. Like the radio does mute with the mute button. So I don't know why it even has that there. So, but uh, this is how you use force scan. It's pretty simple. Don't go into like things that, you know, like you start, doing some crazy stuff like the PCM and stuff like it literally tells you this is dangerous to do you know like because I uh, unless you like pre-save your uh previous build or whatever so like you can save like right here or whatever I think that's the only way you can go back to that build or whatever before you changed everything so but if you have any questions um just let me know I mean it's uh it's pretty awesome having all these things enabled and stuff um you can't do anything with the radio. That's why I have the Bluetooth uh, transmitter. But, uh, yeah, like, it's really nice having all this other stuff enabled now. And I got, you know, remote start, keyless entry. Don't have to, you know, like, that was just literally, a quick, like, that quick to change. So, but uh, if you guys have any questions, just uh, let me know. Thanks.